The Beyblade anime showcases characters using some crazy special moves. Some summon tornadoes, some crash into the opponent's bay from 10 feet in the air, and some just stand there and look cool. And in today's video, we will be attempting to perform these somewhat impossible special moves in, in real, real life. life. At least the ones in the Turbo series. I'm going to do these 10 special moves. Free and Geist Baffners, Absorb Break and Geist Counter, Babuki and Emperor Fornius, Emperor Drift, Iga and Chosy Achilles, Turbo Upper, Xavier and Buster Excaliburs, Saber Wall, Evil and Orb Aegis, Orb Swing, Phi and Dead Phoenixes, Dread Cannon, That Ugly Kid and Hazard Kerbius' special move, Chain Protection, Shu and Chosy Spriggan's Turbo Awakening, and Rangiro and Ragnarok's Hurricane Counter. Again, some of these special moves are almost impossible to do in real life, but I promise you I will sit here and launch Beyblades until I get something that at least resembles the special move in the anime. So if you guys could subscribe, that would really help us out because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be sitting here for a while. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, with that out of the way, let's get started. First off, we're starting it strong with one of the coolest special moves in Turbo and one of the coolest Beyblades in Turbo, Geist Fafner. We're going to attempt Absorb Break. According to the wiki, Absorb Break is when Geist Fafner gets pushed down by the opposing Beyblade, the Absorb Driver's Spring gets pushed down, making contact with the stadium floor and increasing Fafner's speed. Fafner then strikes the opponent with a powerful counterattack punch, causing- <laughs> I don't know why I had to add the punch, but I had the punch, causing major damage. This can also be done if Free launches with all of his strength, causing Fafner to spin at an extremely high speed and attack the opposing Beyblade at the start of the battle. So basically, all we have to do is launch Fafner really hard and hope it hits the, the other Beyblade really hard. Let's try it. Alright, now that we're at the stadium, let's perform this Absorb Break special move. This is actually one of my favorite uh, special moves in Chosy because it actually works. We're going to verse it against Health Salamander first just because I thought it was a nice defense type left from Beyblade to use it against. And yeah, let's see if we can do it. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. We're just going to launch Fafner as hard as I can and then hopefully that'll compress the Absorb Drive and make it use absorb brick three two one go shoot I mean I, I kind of mislaunched that <laughs> go shoot all right absorb break ah go there we go absorb break oh and it absorb broke into the pocket oh my goodness and this is why I love these special move videos guys we're gonna switch salamander out for dead Hades go shoot absorb break oh. But that time, Fafner lost. So let's try to get a battle with Fafner winning. Oh, shoot. Let's see it absorb break. Oh! Oh! All right, Fafner was kind of on the offense there, but I wouldn't necessarily call that absorb break. Go oh, shoot. All right. Oh! Oh my gosh, Fafner, you suck. Oh, shoot. Oh! Oh my gosh! Why does it keep losing? I thought this was going to be an easy special move. Oh! Ah! And I guess it does work in real life. It is just so bad. It loses every battle. What is going on? All right, that's our break. Oh, oh, okay. That was pretty cool. It's still absorb breaking. That's crazy. We're gonna count that. Let's move on to the next special move. Next up, we have another special move by Free and Fafner. This time, Geist Counter. Geist Counter is when Fafner tilts after being attacked by an opponent and grinds its proof frame on the stadium floor to balance itself and drift around to increase speed and power to counterattack. That's a little confusing. Basically, it's just like most like counter special moves where it just gets hit and then uses the momentum to hit the opponent's Beyblade. Let's try it out. Back with Fafner. Hopefully this special move is a little easier. We're doing Geist Counter. I'm going to put him up against, I guess it's Attack version. They both have like a triangular shape. That's pretty cool. We have Chosy Valkyrie. Let's try it. Three, two, one, go shoot. We're just going to launch him in the middle. Uh, Chosy Valkyrie is going to hit it and hopefully it'll do Geist Counter. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right. Use your special move. Oh, it, it's kind of working. You see, it's kind of smooth in there. 
I don't know why why I use those words. My vocabulary is so messed up. Anyway, it, it looks like it's done schmoovin'. It looks like it can only use Geist Fafner in the first few seconds, and then afterwards it resorts to stealing spin. Alright, we're just gonna keep doing battles until we see a cool counter move. It did win though. It's Oh, oh my goodness. It's cool how like the red chosy wings turn into rubber when Valkyrie evolved. That's just like, I, I love it, Takira told me. I love it. What I don't love is how bad you made guys Fafner. You should have made this Beyblade at least a little better. It's losing every battle. All right, let's see the guys counter. Oh! <laughs> All right, and the anime, it's a lot more dramatic in real life. It just goes, oh, oh. I mean, my hand was in the way, but in real life, it kind of just makes a, a little circle. It's not even fast. <laughs> Maybe we've got to switch up Beyblades. You know, Dead Hades was kind of hitting it around like crazy. Maybe it'll do better with uh, Dead Hades. Let's try it. Go shoot. All right, let's see the counterattack. Oh, I mean, it's kind of there. It doesn't really hit the Beyblade, but it's almost there. Oh, come on, you got to hit him. Oh. We're never gonna get this counter attack. This Beyblade's so passive when it doesn't use Absorb Break. All right, let's try it again. Go! Oh, oh, oh! That was kind of it. <laughs> and then it loses immediately after. But that was kind of it. That was kind of a counter. You saw that? It was in the middle. Hades hit it. It kind of went on its side, went on the proof frame, hit Hades back. I mean, not very hard because, well, it's Geist Fafner, but it did do a counter attack. We're going to count that. Let's move on to the next special move. Moving on to a special move by Chose the Achilles Turbo Upper. This one is pretty simple. This move is when one of the two swords hit the opponent's Beyblade directly and is used to score a ring out finish. So basically, all we have to do is score a ring out finish with Achilles. Thank god it's easy. Alright, so our goal is just to hit a Beyblade out of the stadium with Turbo or slash Chosey Achilles and get a ring out finish. If we do that, we will count it as Turbo Upper. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna use it against Emperor Fornius because I'm pretty sure Achilles can hit Emperor Fornius at the stadium. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, Achilles Turbo Upper. Gosh dang it, why am I so bad at Beyblade? Maybe it's me guys, maybe it's not the Beyblades. Maybe it's just me, I'm starting to think it's a me thing because I can't get any of these Beyblades to flip and win. At least the ones I want. All right, ready? Go shoot. Gosh dang it, Emperor Fortius, why do you decide to be good now? Go. All right, Achilles, hit him out, hit him out. You got this, I believe in you. Oh my god, Emperor Fornius is just a flippin' tank. It's taking all these hits. I swear, if Emperor Fornius actually wins this one, I'm leaving. I'm leaving! Don't do this, Emperor- Oh no! I'm done. One eternity later. Alright, I'm back. It's been a few hours. Let's finish this video. Emperor Fortius, 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot! It's been a few hours, I'm in a better mood now, and there we go! There we go! First try when I come back, you know, that's that's all it takes, just some Beyblade discipline, guys. That was... I have no idea what I'm saying, but I'm actually really happy that worked. I was not expecting that to work. I guess all you gotta do is take a break, you know, let the Beyblades chillax a little. You can't practice them too much with your special moves. Anyway, so yeah, that was... Um, I don't even remember what the special move you were doing. Oh yeah, Turbo Upper. That was Turbo Upper with Chosey Achilles. Let's move on to the next one. Next, we have a Beyblade that just recently got an evolution after years. Next up, we have Xan and Buster Excalibur. Special move, Saber Wall. Saber Wall is when the opposing Beyblade is near the edge of the stadium, Excalibur knocks it into the wall, then Excalibur delivers a heavy blow that pins its opponent between itself and the wall, creating a damage pincer attack. It's honestly a pretty sick special move, although I don't really see it working well in reality, so we'll probably be here for a while. Yeah, I hate my life. Alright, so here's the game plan guys, we're going to use Vice Leopard, and we're using it because it has the Destroy Driver, and what the Destroy Driver does is it rides the ridge of the stadium really well. So we're going to launch Vice Leopard, hopefully it'll ride the ridge of the stadium, and then we'll launch Buster Excalibur at an angle, so hopefully it'll meet 
uh, Vice Leopard at the ridge, knock it into a wall. We'll get a really cool hit and we'll call it Saber, Saber Wall. Um, honestly, it's probably not going to work out. And that was a terrible explanation, but let, let's just do it. You'll see when I launch him. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. There we go. Riding the ridge, just, just like planned. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Flower pattern. Oh my god, Vice Leopard, you have no stamina whatsoever! <laughs> Runs. Okay, so so we gotta do this fast. We gotta do this fast when Vice Leopard still has some stamina and is still riding the ridge. Shoot. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. All right, hit him into the wall. Hit him into the wall. You got this. Oh, that's the pocket. Shoot. All right, Excalibur, this is your chance. Oh, that was almost it. Ah. Go. Shoot. All right, hit him into the wall. Oh, kind of. Not really though. I think we're done with Vice Leopard. We're gonna go back to old reliable uh, Dead Hades. It rides the ridge pretty well. Hopefully we'll be able to do Saber Wall with this one. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Yeah, it rides the ridge pretty well, but it's also so much better than Vice Leopard. <laughs> I don't know if Excalibur can beat this one. Three, two, one, go shoot. Okay, they switched places. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> shoot. All right, oh my god, it missed it, you dumb Beyblade. All you gotta do is hit him, in, hit him into the wall. Oh, it might do it. <laughs> no, it just lost. Shoot. All right, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Dead Hades used Saber Wall on Excalibur right there. That was a pretty cool hit though, but it wasn't Excalibur doing it, it was Hades. Hades is just like a god Beyblade, it's so amazing. All right, and there it goes, it won. New plan, guys, new plan. I am going to snipe dead Hades. Some, some might call that cheating, but I'm desperate. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the perfect moment to launch Excalibur. So when it leaves its launcher, it goes straight for dead Hades and hits it against the wall. Let's see if we can do it. All right, Felix, put an attempt counter. Let's see how many attempts it takes. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right. Now. Ah, oh, I missed it. Now. Frick! Wait for it. Now! Oh, I missed it! Now! Uh, my timing is so off. Now! Now! Oh! That was kind of it! I mean, I hit it, but I didn't really hit into the wall, I guess. Ah! Oh! Oh! Right there! Right there! Okay, that was, I mean, it was a tiny hit, but it was definitely a saber wall. It definitely hit Hades into the wall. I don't know if I want to count that, though. I know we've been here for a while, but I really do want to get a really cool hit. All right, Hades is too heavy. We're going with the lighter bay. Here I have single layer death sight there. Shoot. All right, hit him, hit him into the wall. Hit him into the wall, please. Please, Excalibur. No. Why? It's just a death sight there. Oh, oh. Here it is! Oh! Yes! Finally! Finally! That was so cool! Oh my god! Yes! Saber wall! Bro, and a burst! That was such a hard hit! It hit him into the wall so hard that Death Side there burst! Oh my god, thank god it's over! Thank God it's over. I was okay, guys. I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes when I'm like recording these videos, like I act, a I, I act mad, but I'm not actually that mad. Like they're Beyblades or toys. I'm not gonna get that mad. I was actually low key getting mad at Excalibur. I was mad at Excalibur. I was a mad at a freaking plastic metal toy. What does my life come to anyway? <laughs> let's move on to the next one. Next, we have a special move by one of the most fun, but probably the worst Beyblade ever created, Orb Aegis, the suction cup Beyblade. Orb Aegis has a signature move called Orb Swing. In this move, after taking the center, Aegis uses the suction cup on its quest driver to attach itself to the base stadium. When an opposing Beyblade attacks it, it uses the momentum from the hit to deal a devastating blow. It's like Wobbuffet in Pokemon, and it makes sense in theory, but um, I, I really don't think it's going to work in real life because Orb Aegis doesn't just move back and forth, it's kind of spinning, so it... <laughs> It's not gonna work, guys, but you know what? We can try it. Suction cup Beyblade. 
<laughs> I have no idea how this is gonna work because in the anime it's pretty simple like it absorbs attack and then it launches it back at its opponent but in real life it doesn't really work like that it's not a hamburger it doesn't bite back but um I mean I, I guess we could try to see if maybe maybe it does work I, I mean I've never really used Orbeagus that much it's not the best Beyblade ever uh we're going to try it against let's let's use Chosy Valkyrie first and see how it does three two one good shoot Three, two, one, two. All right, and there is Chosy Valkyrie. See, Orb Aegis doesn't really like move that much. It's not like a spring. It doesn't bounce back to its original position. It kind of just tanks hits. So I can't see its special move really working, but it did take one click off Valkyrie. I think we're gonna have to use a single layer Beyblade like we did with Excalibur. And if Orb Aegis is able to get a burst, we'll count it. Shoot. Uh, so yeah, here we have single layer Valkyrie, and if Orb Aegis is able to burst it, we'll count it as uh, Orb Swing, because it's obviously not doing the attacking. Valkyrie's doing the attacking, and if it bursts, I, I guess technically that's a counterattack. I don't really know. Ooh! Actually, Orb Aegis kind of went on the attack there. That was kind of cool. Oops. Alright, there we go. Valkyrie. Let's see if Orb Aegis is going to be able to burst Valkyrie. So it hits from Valkyrie! And there was a burst. I think Orb Aegis actually burst in the pocket after defeating Valkyrie. So we're going to count that as Orb Swing. You know how they say like offense is the best defense? Well, in this case, defense is the best offense. I know. Amazing quote by Left Burst Noah. Okay, no need no need for applause. I know. I know. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. Let's move on to the next special move. This is so dumb. I hate these videos. Okay, I don't hate these videos. I like these videos. I like these videos a lot, but I get I just I just get very mad I get very angry because I'm trying to make plastic toys do things that they really shouldn't be doing <laughs> Like in the anime they could do this stuff, but in real life they kind of just spit around Anyway, let's move on to the next special move in the last special move video We did revive Phoenix's special moves but this time we're going to use its evolution, Dead Phoenix, and its special move, Dread Cannon. For Dread Cannon, if Phoenix's Dread Armor gets knocked off and lands in the stadium, Phoenix will hit the armor with enough force to send it crashing into the base stadium wall where it bounces off and crashes into an opponent's Beyblade with nearly as much impact force as Phoenix itself. So I mean, I don't think we're going to play Beyblade soccer here, so what we're going to count as Dread Cannon is when Phoenix launches its armor and it hits the opponent's Beyblade. So yeah, we're just going to launch Phoenix and, and hope its armor falls off and, and pray that it hits the other Beyblade. Please happen. For Dread Cannon, all we have to do is launch Dead Phoenix's armor at the other Beyblade. I've seen it a couple times, so I know it's possible, but I mean, I've used this Beyblade a lot and I've only maybe seen it like a, a handful of times, maybe like three times at most. So um, we might be here all night. All right, let's try it. Three, two, one, go shoot. There is Dead Phoenix, we can go shoot. And there is Dead Hades. All right, let's see if it can remove its ring. There it is. Okay, I mean, the, the ring was removed, the armor was removed, and I guess it did kind of hit Hades, but it didn't really launch at Hades, so I'm not going to count it as a uh, Dread Cannon. Shoot! Alright, both Beyblades in the stadium. Let's see if the armor will come off this battle as well. The answer is no. Oh, there it goes. Never mind, it came off, but didn't really do much damage. Shoot! Alright. I, I like using dead uh, Hades. Oh, oh, that was kind of it. That was kind of it. That was really cool, actually. All right, we're going to count that. I, I was about to say, I like using dead Hades because it consistently gets Phoenix's armor off every battle. And there we go. We just saw dead cannon. That was awesome. I Wow, that was a lot faster than I thought. I'm so happy. All right, let's move on to the next special move. All right, we were able to perform that last special move a lot faster than I thought. Anyway, next up, we have a special move by Chain Kirbyus and that homeless man in a skin-tight suit. Their signature move is Chain Protection. In Chain Protection, Kirbyus uses its metal spring chains to cushion the impact, deflecting the opponent's attack, then returning massive damage by pushing the opponent's back and using the metal on its energy layer. Let's try it. 
Here I have my Hazard Curvius Beyblade. It's honestly flipping beautiful. I love Hazard Curvius. Doesn't perform that well, but it definitely looks really cool. Anyway, we're going to try to do its special move, Chain Protection. I already explained it. I don't know why I'm explaining it again. But yeah, um, lucky for us, the first half of the special move where it cushions attacks is already built into the Curvius layer. As you can see, the chains kind of like move in. So every time a Beyblade hits it, it's already cushioning attacks. And yeah, so all we're looking for is for Kerbius to push another Beyblade. So if it pushes another Beyblade hard enough after it hits that Beyblade, we'll count it as chain protection. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. We're gonna verse it against uh, the Achilles. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. There we go. We're gonna need a really hard push from Kerbius. It is taking uh, attacks really well though. Like it's not even moving, it's a solid Beyblade. Oh! All right, that was chain protection, guys. I think I'm gonna count that actually. That was a pretty hard hit. If it wins, I'll, I'll count it. And it won. All right, cool. Anyway, so yeah, that was chain protection. First battle. Uh, that I, I love first battle special moves. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. I'm done doing hard special moves. So next up, we have a pretty easy one with one of my favorite Turbo Beyblades, Chosy Spriggan. We'll be attempting Shu's Turbo Awakening special move. Turbo Awakening is a special ability used by Chosy Spriggan and other Chosy Prefix Beyblade, such as like Chosy Achilles and Chosy Valkyrie, when they enter their Turbo Awakening state, signified by their turbo wings deploying. This state increases Spriggan's overall combat capability drastically. These turbo blades also function as dedicated burst stoppers. In the anime, Spriggan might get like a boost in combat strength, but in real life, that's like total BS. All that really happens is the wings deploy and make the Beyblade unburstable. Since this is an engineered gimmick, all we have to do is launch Spriggan hard, and we should be able to enter this Turbo Awakening state. Thank goodness. Turbo Awakening Spriggan version. I love doing Turbo Awakenings on these videos because the special move actually works in real life, like consistently. All I have to do is launch the Beyblade hard and uh, its turbo wings will come out and it'll be Turbo Awakening and it won't burst. I, I love it when it actually works. All right, we're gonna verse it against winning Valkyrie. Three, two, one, go shoot. That was pretty hard. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, and there, oh my God, Spriggan destroyed Valkyrie there. Now the moment of truth, Let's see if it's Turbo Awakening was activated. And yes, as you see the two black wings right there, they're, um, they're out, so that means it's activated. It's Burst Stopper, I don't know if you could see it, but they're right in the corners right there. And yeah, we, we did the Turbo Awakening. Uh, let's move on to the next special move. Our final special move is going to revolve around Ragnarok and Rangira with their signature move, Hurricane Counter. In Hurricane Counter, Ragnarok uses its Reach Frame Spikes to counterattack a Beyblade if it attempts to attack it. The shape of the Reach Frame allows this move to work against attacks from both low and high angles. Pretty poggers, let's give it a try. <laughs> I can't believe I said poggers, anyway, whatever. <laughs> let's try it. We're in a bit of a predicament for this one because what happens in the anime is a Beyblade just comes, hits Ragnarok's frame, and then a hurricane appears. I, I mean, we, we can try to do that in real life, but I think we'll just be sitting here forever because I don't think a Beyblade has the ability to make a hurricane appear. Maybe we'll just keep battling until a hurricane appears in my area and just tears down my house. Or, or actually, Felix, we're gonna do a battle when Achilles comes in, hits Ragnarok's frame, make a tornado. The power of editing. I love Felix. All right, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Thank you, Felix. Three, two, oh, Achilles fell off my launcher. Three, two, one, it fell off again. You know what? It's fine. Three, two, one, good two. All right. Whoa, did you see that hurricane, guys? That was Hurricane Counter! That- That's crazy, guys. Our hurricane just appeared- Oh, it appeared again and again and- Oh! Oh my god, so many hurricanes! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Felix. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. <laughs> that was 10 Beyblade special moves in real life. I gotta say, uh, this video was probably the most painful out of all the videos. I think I've sat here the longest out of all the videos. I had to split it up into two days because after a while, I just got so frustrated and so mad that I had to leave. 
and it's been like a month and I finally came back to record the last two special moves, the, the turbo special move and, and the Ragnarok special move. So if you're wondering why the stadium's a little different, that's why. Um, but yeah, uh, see you guys later. Have a nice day. If you want to see another one of these special move videos, leave a like, leave a comment. Um, I, I'll probably do another one. Uh, hopefully I'm not as grumpy the next time and hopefully I won't have to sit here for hours trying trying to make Beyblades do things that they, they, they can't. So yeah, see you guys later. Have a nice day. Left burst out.